Yes, come let us adore him, for he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. No wonder the angels sang, and a magnificent star shone brilliantly in the heavens. The story is ancient. The story is timeless. It is the unfolding of God's intricate plan of redemption, shrouded in simplicity. God, the infinite, almighty I am, becomes Jesus the infant, son of man. The creator now becomes created. The incarnation illustrates the ultimate in paradox. The king of glory is not born in a palace, but a stable. He is not lying in a cradle of regal splendor, but a manger of hay. He is not attended by a band of royal servants, but a gathering of frightened shepherds. Nothing occurred as it was expected or imagined. For you see, this story was not conceived in the minds of men, but in the heart of God. This is his story. And this is how the Heavenly Father chose to present us his only begotten Son. Lord. 